talk to me about the stages of faith that you know about from Fowler and from Brian McLaren and how that applies to the LDS church and even in your own practice. McLaren has four stages of faith. And the first for him is all about rules. It's kind of equivalent to, you know, learning arithmetic, you know, two plus two equals four. And it's very safe and it's very prescribed. And it, and, you know, the spiritual equivalent or religious equivalent of that would be, you know, Noah put two of every animal on the boat. Okay, cool. And then that level two is more like algebra and it's a little bit more complex. And, and that would be more like in a religious context, that would be more like, you know, these are the things that we need to do to, you know, be spiritual, to be attuned with God. These are the things that, you know, this is, this is, you know, you're going to check all your boxes of, of being holy. And it's not, it's not quite just the, be the good person anymore. Now it's the, you know, you have to have a pure heart, not just, you know, don't just look pure on the outside, but you have to have the pure heart. And then stage three, I didn't know I was going to get quizzed today. <laughs> and then stage three is where you start questioning and maybe rebelling a little bit and saying, but why, but why is it implicitly wrong to be gay? But why is it okay to drink monster drinks, but not Starbucks. But why, if this person is a person of God, do I happen to know that they are like low key jerk? You know, it's, it's where you start asking and thing, and you start having some cognitive dissonance. And then level four is where you're like, you kind of transcend that, and you kind of get to your own personal experience of how you how, how you experience the divine in an authentic way for you that doesn't come with the prescriptions um part of our certification course actually has a talk uh, about theology and or religious trauma and uh the stages of faith it's also sometimes a misunderstanding about these stages it isn't necessarily a superiority thing uh, as in I'm more intellectually mature, although that is oftentimes the case. It, what's being said is as people progress through the natural course of life, natural life stages, as people get older, they tend to question the authorities more and this dogma that's been in, conditioned into them. So it's a maturity as in an I'm growing up and I'm aging and I'm starting to engage in a lot more introspection about things. I think the LDS church works really, really well for a level one or two on McLaren scale or a one, two or three on Fowler's scale. I think there's a lot of good to be had from it. You know, as long as when you want that structure and that box, if you if you're looking for something that's going to check all your boxes and tell you exactly how to live, I mean, the LDS Church has a robust lifestyle. I mean, you can fill your entire life, and so many things in it really are good. But when you get to that, you know, McLaren level three or that Fowler level four or five, you know, then you're. I don't know if all of the viewers are going to be familiar with Plato's cave, but I always, I always use the allegory of the cave where, so I'm going to give a very brief synopsis. I know you're familiar. So in Plato's allegory of the cave, everybody's kind of sitting in a movie theater and they can only face the wall where the, he didn't call it a movie theater because he was, you know, 400 BC, but, you know, basically they're looking at a movie. And so they believe that the movie on the wall is reality. They can't really turn their heads and, and look back and see that there's a projector behind them. And then somebody gets up and, and leaves and walks outside and there are real trees and there are real squirrels and there's real things happening in real life outside the cave. And he goes back in the cave and he says, you guys, there's like stuff. You can like interact with the trees. And then they all think he's crazy and that's Socrates and they kill him. But, you know, you get to that, you know, McLaren level three or Fowler level four, I think, and you start questioning things and you start turning around and looking and seeing there's a projector there and 
maybe everything isn't quite the way it seems. Maybe everything isn't Hollywood perfect. Maybe that, you know, we can go outside and have some more authentic interaction. And maybe, maybe we don't have to live up to this idea of perfection. You know, when you're satisfied with the movie on the wall and, you know, the movie on the wall is Hollywood perfect, but then, but it, it's, it's not authentic, right? And I'm not saying that people don't have authentic relationships with God within the LDS church. They do. But when you kind of get out of the cave and see that, you know what, I can have an authentic relationship with God that doesn't include judging my LGBT brothers and sisters. I can have an authentic relationship with God that doesn't make me responsible for the salvation of my ancestors, my progeny, my neighbors, and the people in Africa. I can have an authentic relationship with God that where I can buy Starbucks. Like, you mm -hmm. know, and so, and once you get outside the cave, you really, you really can't be happy going back into the cave. Mm -hmm.